How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to design and 3D print some brackets for my tractor. I picked up something new on Amazon, uh, the Mini Quick Fist rubber clamps. Um, really, these are used for anything um, that's, I guess, cylindrical, round, shaped-ish, whatever will fit in this profile. Um, it's meant to hold objects between 5 eighths and an inch and, seven, an inch and 3 eighths in diameter. Um, and each clamp supports up to 25 pounds, right? So, um, you know, you put two clamps on there up to 50 pounds. Um, it says they're not affected by heat and cold, are UV resistant and salt resistant. And they work great on off-road vehicles, work vehicles, military ATVs and boats. And in this situation, compact tractors. This is the Mini. Quick fist rubber clamps. I will pop, put some links down here below in the uh, description of where you can pick these up on Amazon. They also sell on the website, but Amazon is actually the same price. And if you're a Prime member, you get free shipping, which makes it even better. Well, quick free shipping, right? So let's go ahead and open these up. They are made in the US of A, which is important, at least to me, anyways, it is. So, just to give you an idea how these work, you'll see. That there's a square on the back side here for your screws we mentioned before um, And then you just put them on this way to tighten on what you're doing um, But what this does you'll see how it opens up and flex open and this goes across this as a latch um, What this can do like I said will accommodate up to an inch and three eighths in diameter Because for instance you could set it inside here and then pull this tight and then it's clamped inside there And it's not going to go anywhere. So if you want to hang something vertical you could Or you could hang it horizontal whatever it may be that's going to hold it in place so what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of show you a couple spots in the tractor I'd like to attach some stuff. Maybe we'll get it, we're going to get a few measurements using my set of calipers here and the old, the old traditional tablet. I'm going to write down some dimensions, maybe some sketches on some stuff we'd like to do, and I'll go from there. Again, you can see on the front of this some of the different things you could use, you know, for lights, wrenches, whatever it may be. Um, it, it's just one of those deals that there really are endless options with this. It's just there's some different variations of these you can get for different sizes of such. So, so a couple areas in here I'd like to take a look at to see where we could attach to. Maybe horizontally along the roll bar, maybe vertically here to store. Um, we could do similar to like how the saw hall does where you could attach things up here um, and go from there. Um, just looking at the different attachments points on here.
gonna go ahead and use a 3816 tap here. Alright, now we got the holes tap. Let's go ahead and add this on. I'm using a 1024 screw and a, and a washer. I'm using the outside four holes. Um, you also can use the middle one, but I'm just using the outside four. Get those on there. And we'll go ahead and uh, just tighten it down. Let's see what's happening here. Okay. So if you're concerned about the strength of the threads in this plastic, again, there's more than one way you can do that. Um, you can go through the back side with a bolt and put the head on the back side. So there's more than one way you can do this by using the, like I said, putting the nut on the back side there and designing a spot for it. That'll work well. Um, or like I said, using a different material that's not plastic would also be beneficial, but um, I think you know what I would do is I would plan for it and I would just design some holes in the back here for nuts or whatever it would be um, but I've had pretty good luck um, so far with the stuff I've done with threaded threaded plastic on, on this it seems to hold up pretty well and like I said before we're not holding a significant amount of weight on this each one of these is only rated for 25 pounds and that's pretty strong so I don't think I want to worry about ripping it off of there so that's installed this is just Great PLA or silver PLA, whichever it may be. Um, the like I said, this is not, I would say, the strongest plastic that you can 3D print with by far. And it means it's not. Um, but it does have some UV protection built into it. Um, so it should be fine for the majority of the time I'm using it. Like I said, the biggest thing is going to be is how well these threads hold up. Um, so far, I haven't had a huge issue with that. And if it becomes a problem, I may make a version with just um, a nut to thread the bolt into. So I'll throw about pulling threads out. But I mean, they're pretty strong. Um, I've, I built, I filled them with, I think I did 30% infill. So um, for those of you that are not aware how 3D printing works, when you saw the video, you probably noticed it is not printing it solid. It uses a structure inside um, to basically build, which is called the infill, which is used to build the product or so you don't have to build it solid and saves you on material um, and, and helps prevent other issues like warpage and such. So. Pretty rigid, guys. Ain't going nowhere. Awesome. All right, now that you guys see my grand plan here, let's go ahead, take a rake, set it up in there, see what it looks like, see if there's any design improvements we can do, and kind of go from there. So here again, just to reiterate, this side is on, and it's all nice and rigid. Got the clamp on this side, and then on that side, I have the through-hole piece. So my plan is to set it in that side, set it in the clamp here, lock it in place, and go. So it's all on one side. I think it's gonna work really slick. I'll give you a view here at the other side. You can see again, it just sits right in through there. Lined right up over there. My center to center looks good. And I have them clamped on the back. I'm using four socketed cap screws. You can use whatever screws you wanted. Well, it's the moment of truth. Let's try it out. Let's go ahead and throw the rake in this side. Slide through the hole, put it up in here. Throw the quick fist across. 
and you're ready to rock and fire. Cool. I think it's gonna work all right. Obviously, I left that side a little bigger on purpose for you know flexibility, what you want to put in there. Um, but it sits nice and uh, even in there. See what you guys think. Not too bad. Um, again, I could make some different smaller ones for this side. I kind of, I kind of oversized it on purpose just to give me flexibility with how this comes across here. Um, I like it already. Uh, I mean, it's gonna have a little bit of. When you're driving around, it's gonna do this. But do we really care about that? I don't think so. So again. Um, I could also throw in those quick fists on this side as well. The reason I did this is I wanted to have one side access to put it on and off so I don't have to strap two sides and it's going to hold that in place just fine. Or I can throw a shovel in here. Ready to rock and fire. So it's flexible and what we can do and all look good. Like I said, this accommodates several different sizes. This is about the biggest you can fit in there, the shovel handle. But that's what I want to do. And they have multiple different sizes of these quick fists available. And when you're ready to use it, you just get up here, you pull the clamp off, and you're up working. Shovel, shovel, shovel. I think volunteers someone wants to do some shoveling in my house. Or if you need to take your hoe for a ride, just throw it up in here. Set her up in there. And for across, you're good to go. Let's go to the garden. Get off, you need to take, up, take your hoe off your tractor. Wow. You're done. I like it. Super simple. Again, not too complicated. Up out of the way. Ready to rock and fire. I will put these 3D models on Thingiverse and I'll put a link down below here for those as well. Um, right now, I don't have a plan to print these off and sell them, but maybe if there's enough uh, people interested, I'll do that. And uh, we can kind of go from there and discuss pricing. Again, I just want to, to give you guys some ideas of what to do. This is pretty quick and simple. I think I have about... I think it was like six dollars to print these seven dollars ish total um and then the quick fists were like around 10 bucks so for two of them i'm only using one so i like how it turned out um very first iteration of this first time trying it and i'm pretty happy with how it turned out again this could be used for many things from um you know if you want to put one thing on this side you could or again it gives you the option to span things um i can make i'm thinking about maybe making some other attachments as well so i can haul multiple things but usually if I'm doing something, I'm just hauling around one thing and, and needing to do that. So I will post a link for these uh, quick fists down below here in the description from Amazon. If you guys want to check it out, go for it. It is an Amazon affiliate account. So I will tell you if you guys order it, I'll get a little bit of kickback from this to help support the channel and bring more content to you like this, as well as, as the 3D printer I used. I'll put that down below here. Um, this 3D printer works great. And I have other videos here where we can talk about that. I'll post it up here above. Um, I'll put a scrolling thing here for the, for the 3D printer itself. Again, if you guys liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're not part of the YouTube family. And I'll catch you on the next one.